A sand dune in Indiana has started swallowing people who are walking on its face. It's like nature is fighting back. Hello there, people of House Atreides. Trace here, reporting on a horrible thing for D News. Science is now exploring how and why sand dunes will eat you. No, no, I'm not talking about the lightning sand or the pit of sarlacc or arrakis or anything like that. I'm talking about real sand on real dunes here on Earth that can swallow you whole. The Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore is gorgeous. I've been there a few times, it's beautiful, but it seems it has the potential to be deadly. Picture this, a six-year-old boy walking down a sand dune next to a beautiful freshwater inland sea. Then suddenly, without warning, he disappears. His parents run screaming toward where the boy was and find nothing but sand. A hole had appeared below this kid's feet and before he or his nearby parents could do anything, he had disappeared beneath the sand dune. Three hours later and 11 feet down, emergency personnel pulled him out. 11 feet, that's a lot. Nearby was a geologist from Indiana University Northwest and she is now one of the many studying the dunes to find the cause of this sand swallowing. She believes that we are seeing a new geological phenomenon forming right under our feet. More holes have appeared and disappeared and to find out what's going on, the National Park Service is on the case. They're using GPS, ground penetrating radar, and other fancy technology to explore what is going on under the surface of this 200 foot pile of sand. But so far they're not sure what's happening because dunes should not have holes. See, sand dunes form when the wind drops the stuff it's carrying in the same spot for thousands of years. When the wind blows over a sandy region, like the warm beaches of Lake Michigan, sand particles are pulled along with it, bouncing just a few inches above the surface. If something blocks the flow of sand, like denser air, mountains opposing wind forces, or even a small ridge, then whammy! a dune will form. When conditions are perfect, giant dunes like Mount Baldy can form. When you build a dune like this, one particle of sand at a time, it's not gonna leave a lot of room for air or water to get trapped inside the sandy mountain. Sinkholes, which are terrifying, form when erosion removes the support structure under a layer of earth. Quicksand is the same, it's water erosion of the layers underneath the surface sand. So unlike quicksand or sinkholes, there's nothing under there making room for people to be sucked in. One hypothesis claims that trees and structures once on a plane around the dune have now been swallowed by this shifting mountain of sand, and as they rot, they leave spaces for more sand to fall in. But that doesn't really fully explain the problem. Science is bum-fuzzled. So what's the fix? The National Park Service isn't sure. Like deserts and marshes, dunes are a delicate balance of nature. Too much plant life solidifies the ground and creates like a hill. Too little and the dune will just blow away. Baldy is in a sweet spot where the whole dune can grow and shift, and it's currently moving inland away from the lake year after year. Dunes in China are doing this too, threatening villages as they move about 65 feet every year. For the moment, the dune is closed to the public while they research what could be causing these collapses, but this is a real science mystery. What do you think could be causing the holes? You should tell us your own cockamamie theories down below in the comments, and I'm sure you've got an idea, so why not share it? Subscribe for more awesome DNews videos every day of the week, and if you want to come say hi, go to Twitter and check us out at DNews, or come find me at Trace Dominguez. Thanks for watching. We probably have the best viewers out there on this crazy-ass website, so thanks again. See you next time, and hey, watch your steps.